Welcome to my YouTube channel Bio World. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification about upcoming videos. Hi, today we are going to discuss about cilia. The term cilia is a Latin term meaning eyelash indicating the tiny eyelash like appearance of the structure. However, we can define cilia as Cilia are membrane-bound, tiny, slender, hair-like structures mostly present on the surface of protozoans and some animal cells that provides locomotion, feeding and sensory functions. Cilia are most prominent in protozoans of the phylum Ciliophora which are characterized by the presence of cilia. Cilia are different from flagella which are mostly longer and fewer in number on the cell. Cilia also differ from flagella in other aspects like composition, movement, and functions. Cilia are present only in eukaryotic cells and cannot be found on prokaryotic cells like bacteria. Instead, bacteria contain other structures called pili that perform similar functions to the cilia. On the cell surface, cilia can occur either in short transverse rows in the form of a membrane or in groups to form ciri. The movement of cilia mostly occurs in a rhythmic manner, and individual cilium does not move independently. Types and structure of cilia There are two types of cilia. 1. Primary cilia. 2. Motile cilia. Primary cilia. Primary cilia are non-motile cilia that are projected from the apical surface of the cells. Primary cilia are found in different mammalian cells like stem cells, epithelial cells, endothelial cells, connective tissue, and muscle cells. If we observe primary cilium under microscope so structurally looks something like this. The ring structure of microtubules in the cilia is called axonym. Primary cilia have 9 plus 0 arrangement of microtubules in the axonym that means there are 9 pairs of microtubules in axonym that we call doublet microtubules. Primary cilia lack the central microtubules which are responsible for the motility of the cilia. The cilia are anchored to the cell by means of basal body. Primary cilia are not associated with motility but involved in sensory functions. These cilia act as antennae that receive signals from the environment which are then transferred to the cell. The ciliary membrane contains various receptors, channels, and signaling proteins that are involved in the process. Motile cilia Motile cilia are moving cilia typically found on the specialized epithelial lining of the body such as peronosal sinuses, ovidict of uterus, ventricular system of the brain and airways of the lungs. Motile cilia are also found in ciliates organisms that use them for locomotion or to move liquid through their surface. Motile cilia occur in large numbers and move in a coordinated beating movement. Motile cilia are primarily involved in the movement of the organisms or different substances through a passage. Motile cilia have 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules in the axoneme that means there are 9 pairs of peripheral doublets microtubules in axoneme and 2 centrally located singlet microtubules which are responsible for the motility of the cilia. Motile cilia are also anchored to the cell by means of basal body. Functions of cilia the functions of cells may differ in different types of animals as well as in different types of cilia. The following are some of the functions of cilia. The motile cilia present in respiratory tract are involved to sweep away unwanted substances, other microorganisms, dust particles and mucus to prevent diseases. In the ovidict, the cilia move the ovum from the ovaries to the fallopian tubes for fertilization. Primary cilia in retina and kidney acts as sensory structures that are involved in sensory reception. Different cilia play important roles in cell cycle regulation and organ development. Cilia in paramecium are involved in the locomotion of the organism through water. Besides, the cilia are also involved in the initial step of the mating reaction in paramecium as it takes part in conjugation. The cilia sweep prey organisms or food along with water into the oral groove, which helps in feeding as well. 